Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So yesterday we did a showcase of the Int Kid Gohan's new awakening and he is absolutely ridiculous now. So today we're going to do the same thing with his extreme counterpart, which is the Int Scouter Vegeta. And as always, I'm going to quickly go over his details before we get started. So for anybody that already knows what he does, feel free to skip ahead to the gameplay. And without further ado, guys, let's jump in. Starting with his leader skill, which is extreme int types, key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%, which does now make him a better leader than the int kid Boo. And his super attack is Galaxy Eraser, raises attack and causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And his passive is same potential, int types key plus 3, extreme int types, attack and defense plus 50%, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to int key spheres, and attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained. So if you guys watched my showcase from yesterday, he's actually built very similar to the int kit Gohan, except he boosts extreme int instead of super int, and he only raises attack on his super instead of attack and defense. But whereas the Kid Gohan has a limit on his attack and defense boost, this guy will increase his attack every single time he supers for the entire fight. So in the long run, he should hit harder than the Kid Gohan, whereas the Kid Gohan will be more tanky on average. And his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Royal Lineage, Big Bad Bosses, Prodigies, Nightmare, Brutal Beatdown, and Shattering the Limit. And its categories, Plant Dynamic Saga, Pure Saiyans, Dragon Ball Seekers, and Vegeta's Family. So those are all the details you need to know about the newly awakened Scatter Vegeta. But before we jump into the gameplay, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a free mobile RPG that has been dominating the iOS and Google Play stores. Recruit hundreds of powerful champions, each with their own unique skills and designs. My personal favorite right now is no doubt Sir Nicholas. I mean, who wouldn't love a jacked ass-kicking Santa Claus? Collect tons of rare artifacts to power up your champions and take on the exciting new Faction Wars feature that just dropped. As of right now, Raid has a near perfect score in the Google Play Store with over 300,000 reviews. So what are you guys waiting for? Start playing today and take advantage of the amazing 90 day reward program and use the special links in my description to receive an additional 100,000 silver, 50 gems, one energy refill, and the incredibly powerful champion Executioner. Of course, all of this treasure can be found in your gift box right over here, but don't delay because this offer will only be available for the next 30 days. Once again, thank you very much to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. It really means a lot. And without further ado, guys, let's dive into the gameplay and see what this Vegeta can do. So on the first rotation, we're going to link him with the uh, Tech Blue Vegeta for that Prodigy's link. And we're getting a fair amount of orbs here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, this is more, I believe. We're going to go with 11 orbs here. All right, that is 220% boost from his nuking passive, which is uh, pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Okay, here we go. I'm excited, guys. I'm very, very excited. No second support here. No, actually, no, I lied. The tech blue Vegeta is a support too. Okay, so we're getting supered. Should have a good amount of defense, so it shouldn't hit that hard. Okay, 88. Okay. <laughs> 88 damage on the super, guys. Um, our attack stat went up to over 2 million. That's the first attack. That is the first attack, guys. That's crazy. That's crazy. And we don't even have another support. So what I was saying before is on the next time, on the next turn that he comes back, we should also have Tech Bula as a support, so basically triple support, and things could get even crazier than they just did. Man, that is wild though. Yo, first turn, what was it, 11 orbs we got? 11 orbs, right? 11 orbs, and the damage, wow, okay. Um, I mean, obviously I, I expected this, like kind of, because we already showcased the Kid Gohan, who is pretty similar. Um, but it still blows me away, man, that, that they made these Awakenings that good. Like, they could have just made them pretty good Awakenings, like decent Awakenings, and gone away with it. But instead, Bandai was like, nah, we're going to make these, like, type supports, mono-type supports, some of the best non tokon Fest units in the game. They really are. Like, I don't think they stack up, obviously, with, like, some of the newer 
you know, Dokkan Fest exclusives, but as far as non Dokkan Fest units go, they're two of the best, man. They're like on the top 10, top 15 list, maybe. Um, just really, really freaking good. I think overall, I'd probably still put the Gohan over this Vegeta, uh, just because the defense is clutch, right? The fact that the Gohan can raise his own defense too for nine turns, that makes a big difference. But, I mean, this guy is still ridiculous. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight orbs here. Not too bad. Obviously, getting those uh, extra orbs from his passive, uh, where he changes the orbs for himself, so he's very self sufficient in that sense. Okay, we got basically three supports now and two million. Okay, so we basically lost some extra damage that we could have gotten uh, because we didn't get as many orbs last time. Okay, additional 2.1, almost 2.2 million. Yo, this guy is showing out. Holy crap. Oh, I keep forgetting to show you guys the defense. Crap. Okay, next time. Next turn, I promise. I'll show you guys what, what his defense is after we get the orbs, because obviously he does get that huge boost. I'm curious to see what the boost is actually looking like. But uh, just from a offensive perspective so far, <laughs> what more do you need to see, man? Of course, like I said, he, he raises attack every single turn. There's no limit to it. Uh, like with the Gohan, this guy will get attack for as long as the fight lasts. So if you're running like... The legendary Goku event, his defense will, will become pretty crazy. The only issue, of course, is that he doesn't get defense, so he will be getting hit pretty hard if you don't get a lot of orbs. But I think from a defensive perspective, as far as tanking goes, he should do pretty well too on the legendary Goku event because he gets so much defense with the with the orbs, right? So uh, I mean we'll see for sure in a second. I think if we get something something like eight to ten orbs. He should have over 200,000 defense, which in most cases is enough to at least not get you killed by like a MUI super, right? So we'll see, we'll see. Oh man, I can't wait. I already said this before, but I can't wait for the other supports to get awakenings too, man. Tech Tien, um, the STR hit, STR Kaba. Uh, I would say I would say physical super boo, but I don't have physical super boo, so for now. And you know what now just thinking about it i'm thinking about it, i'm like why did they give these guys such good awakenings obviously it's because they want people to summon on the type banners does that mean that we're going to be able to do like unlimited multis again on the type banners or not nah, i don't really know see you guys weren't around um maybe like a year ago year and a half two years ago however long it's been since we could do it uh, we used to be able to have unlimited summons unlimited multis on the type banners now like these days for the past couple like year year and a half something like that um we've only been able to do one multi and that's it right so that kind of sucks but in the past we were able to do as many multis as we wanted on the type banners which was awesome and that's why a lot of people are able, were able to get these like type supports right but these days we can only do one multi which uh makes it really hard for people to get these supports, right? So I'm wondering now, like, because they gave awakenings to these guys and are obviously gonna give awakenings to the other type supports too from the type banners, will we be able to do unlimited multis once again? Or do we have to like start buying them with the blue coins? Maybe it's an incentive for people to actually buy the, uh, you know, buy the supports with the blue coins, right? Because in the past before, like people don't really care. People wouldn't have anything to do with the blue coins. They're like, I could buy Kai's, I guess, but it feels like kind of a waste. Uh, but the only other thing you could buy was the supports and they're really not that good anymore. Well, now people have a reason to buy these supports because they are ridiculous now, man. I mean, there's not much, there's no other way to put it. They're, they're ridiculously good. And I'm not, I'm not, exaggerating guys by any means when i say they are some of the best non dokkan fest units in the game seriously like seriously they're look at look at this i keep forgetting damn it okay next turn for sure definitely showing you guys that defense after we get a good amount of orbs all right man i'm, I'm just talking too much i have so many things on my mind right now that uh yeah i keep forgetting i'm sorry guys i apologize i apologize here we go we're gonna, we're gonna do this. You know what? I'm just gonna keep reminding myself. Yo, show the defense. Show the defense, Tiger. I'm gonna stop talking about anything else until we see that defense at the defensive stat. All right, here we go. We are now on the final stage. No, it's fin second final stage. Second final. Second last stage of the event. Um, we are getting a good amount of in orbs. Uh, you know what? I actually kind of want to give these to 
the LR into Vegeta to see how much attack he gets by being supported with the Scouter Vegeta. So let's go with this. He'll have that 24 key super and Scouter Vegeta still gets a lot of orbs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 orbs right there. And our defense is now up to 159,000. So that's, that's not too bad. It's not crazy high. Um, you're still going to be taking a good amount of damage on the legendary Goku event, but it does help. It, it's not a bad defense stat. And his attack is now at 775,455. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, I guess Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta can Super 2, it doesn't really matter. But I'm curious to see what this LR Vegeta can do. 2.3 mil. Not bad. Yo, not bad for an LR that has a flat boost. Yo, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, 931k additional. All right, and now our Scouter Vegeta here. Oh, oh, I forgot he gets a bunch of additionals. Okay, cool. Scouter Vegeta, 2.2 million. Casual, casual. We get a crit. No crit that time. No additional either. All right, yo, additional would have been nice, man. Additional would have been like 2.3 to 2.4 mil. But you know, I don't need to sell this guy anymore, man. You guys, you guys can see with your own eyes. He is. Crazy man, he is just like the kid Gohan. Uh, absolutely, absolutely ridiculous damage, ridiculous support. Obviously, if you have the, um, you know, if you have the extreme in types on your team. Uh, full disclosure, I actually started this showcase, so this is my second or third time trying. But uh, I started the showcase initially with a bunch of in types on this team, right? And then I realized. Wait, he only boosts extreme int types, and most of the int types I brought were super int types. I'm like, this is stupid. Why am I doing this? So then I restarted, and uh, now we're here, right? But initially, I was like, yo, just bring a bunch of int types. It makes sense. And I'm like, no, it does not. Anyways, uh, if you're gonna, if you want to take advantage of his passive as much as possible, bring extreme int types, not super int types. I mean, he still gives key to the super int types, but for the extreme int types, you're, you're, I mean, you're missing out on like 50% attack defense, right? So bring as many extreme ints as possible and uh, you'll be good to go, all right? So for this final attack, guys, let me see what I want to do. Um, I totally forgot what this guy, what this, wait, why did I bring this? Why did I bring the STR orb changer? That makes no sense. You know what, let's, let's, let's go with this. Let's go with the, is his name Lemo or Limo? Let's go with Lemo. Let's say Lemo. All right. So, uh, yeah. Okay. For I think in my mind I thought that the Vegeta was an STR type for some reason. That's why I brought the STR orb changers. All right. Don't worry about it. Let's pretend that <laughs> was not a thing. We got a full board. All right. We got a full board of STR orbs. And since this guy gets the boost from any type of orb, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Let's see how high we can get to, man. All right. This is gonna be good. Our attack is at 3.5 million. 3.5 million. <laughs> oh god, this is going to be so fun. This is going to be so fun. And also the Vegeta, the, the LR Vegeta should hit pretty hard too. But I don't think he's going to get a chance actually. He's probably not going to get a chance. He's definitely not going to get a chance. 9.2 million. Okay. Alright, I see you Vegeta. Alright, there we go. Yo, perfect finish to a great showcase. I really enjoyed that, guys. I don't know about you, but uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for, the t for today's showcase. Um, I don't think there's any more point to doing more because you guys already can see, man, this guy's a beast. He's amazing. And uh, props to Bandai for giving us such great awakenings for these guys. But while I'm talking, I'm just gonna launch an attack real quick because uh, it's 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 what I like to do. Oh, we're gonna get a Dokkan attack off. That didn't work out. You know what? I have to do this Dokkan attack. Give me one sec. All right, we're going to do this Dokkan attack, and then we're going to sign off. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, that sucks. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's showcase. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Scouter Vegeta. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, and that's it, I'm out of here, until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day, I'm Tiger, with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.